For me, guiding probably started uh, in an unexpected place. Um, my two passions my whole life have been hockey and fishing. And so through hockey, I was fortunate enough to come to know a guy by the name of Toby Kavalivag. And Toby was nice enough and generous enough to take me under his wing and uh, let me travel around with him and guys like Dusty Minky and Bill Shimoda uh, on the FLW Tour and League. And so I began to really understand how to break down a lake, how to use multiple presentations. And that's the type of thing that you need if you want to be a guide. It's one thing to have the equipment, it's one thing to you know, know some spots, but to actually understand and be able to use kind of a multifaceted approach to every lake that you go to is a whole nother thing. And so I was fortunate enough to learn that by fishing lakes like Devil's Lake or Cass Lake or Leech Lake, Lake Bemidji, a ton of lakes and using and seeing that stuff actually in play rather than just reading about it and then trying to utilize it myself. It's a lot easier if you can learn from a pro, uh, someone like Toby, and that's where it started for me. And to be able to come into this fold seven years ago, uh, start guiding with Leisure Outdoor Adventures has just been a tremendous opportunity. Um, we take what we use year by year and apply it to the day-to-day, -day, I suppose you would call it grind, you know. Guiding, while to some people on the outside it might seem like a glamorous thing, it's a lot of work. You know, there's nothing that goes into our day that isn't probably prepped the day before, that probably isn't planned for in advance. It's one of those things where if you just think you can show up at the landing and start fishing, hoofda, you're in for a surprise. Um, each day, again, we're using stuff that we learned yesterday, maybe the year before, and trying to apply that to make every guide outing just a great experience for our clients. It's one of those things where at the end of the day, it's all about the smiles on the face. Sure, absolutely, you wanna catch fish. There's no doubt about it. But at the end of the day, it's about making sure that the people that were in your boat learned something and enjoyed that experience and made some memories along the way. I am Jim Ernster. This is my life, the guide life. The Guide Life with Leisure Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by these great partners, Chase on the Lake, Cedar Point Realty, Ray's Sport and Marine, Blackfish Gear, and Swanson's Bait and Tackle. So it's July, it's northern Minnesota. Um, typically what I've started to do the past few summers is rather than uh, continue to pound away at walleye, which get to be really tough this time of year, you know, on some of those bigger lakes like leech and cast, the bugs have hatched and the walleyes are kind of fat and happy right now. Um, I've been fortunate enough to get some names of lakes from other guides like Jason Durham, Mike Rates and start picking apart some of these smallmouth lakes that are in the Walker Hackensack area. And so that's my uh, goal for today is put some smallmouth in the boat. Out here on this particular lake, they always relate to the, to the weeds. And so what I'm gonna be looking for is I'm using my Lowrance Electronics is trying to stay a little bit outside the weeds, but at the same time, sometimes these things stay in the jungle. And so I'm gonna have to do both Lindy rig them with leeches and we will be drop shotting them as well. And kind of see what their mood is today and let them tell me what they want to bite on today. So using live bait, you got to make sure you keep your bait cold, especially on these July days. So I got a little frozen uh, pack in there that I'll keep in there all day. Got some lively leeches that I just picked up from Swanson's. These things look outstanding. And good fresh live bait is going to be one of the keys to what I do every day. Um, certainly, if you're a bass purist, you're probably not going to enjoy the fact that I'm going to lindy rig these, but when I have clients in the boat, it's all about confidence. And once I get them some fish in the boat by lindy rigging, then I can go back and teach them other techniques like a drop shotting or pitching a jig worm. But if we start out 
and I know this lake very well, we can start out catching a lot of fish quickly and then that gets everyone a little bit more relaxed and then they're a little bit more open to multiple presentations. So these smallmouth tend to be a little aggressive. I don't want to give them a ton of line. I just got bit there. I'm going to close the bail and start reel and reel down. And then I set the hook. That's one of the keys to Lindy Rig fishing is you want to reel down and gather some of that line that you just gave them before you set the hook. Otherwise you're going to be just, and even though I'm using braided line, okay, I want to still make sure I get a good hook set, especially with monofilament. I want to make sure that I'm reeling in a bunch of line because that stretches. But either way, reel in some line, let that rod load, and then go ahead and give yourself a solid hook set. Another beautiful smallie, hooks right in the corner of the mouth. Again, that's the one thing, that's where I want that thing. I don't want it to be down in their throat. That's why I don't give them a ton of line. These things are pretty aggressive. Just a ton of fun to catch, but we want to make sure to preserve that resource. Even if it means missing a few more fish, that's all right. That's where I want that hook right there. Pop it out, take it out. The fish is ready to live to fight another day. This area is full of wonderful properties and recreational opportunities for you and your family to enjoy. Year-round homes, cabins, and land available. If you have been considering a real estate purchase or sale, we would love to hear from you. Cedar Point Realty, proudly selling the Lakes area. You know, one of the things I try to make sure when I'm guiding is I've got everything done the night before. You know, I've got my Lindy Rig rods ready. I've got a jig worm ready. I've got a drop shot ready. So that way when I'm out on the water, it's time for myself and my clients to fish. I'm not wasting their time um, tying stuff up that morning. Um, I'm not getting to a spot and saying, oh, just give me a minute, I gotta get this done. Preparation is everything in this game. And if you leave that off the table, then you're just shorting yourself and you're shorting your clients because again, we wanna give them that opportunity to be successful and so preparation is one of the main keys. Again, right in the front of the mouth there. That's exactly why, where you want to be catching that. And it, 
this lake in particular that we're on is a catch and release lake. And so, and I'm never in the habit of keeping bass anyways, but um, you know, so again, if you miss some, that's fine. Cause there's plenty of fish down there. Rather have the easy release as opposed to trying to dig that out of its throat. Nice, fat, healthy, smallmouth bass. One of the questions I frequently get asked, especially when fishing leeches, is which end to hook it through. Quite honestly, it doesn't make a difference, but I always like to go through the skinnier end, which is actually the head, not the sucker end. If you look at a leech swimming through the water, it's actually that head end that's leading the leech and it just adds a little bit more of a natural presentation and so that's why i choose to do it that way it doesn't make a difference some days it does some days it doesn't but you know i like to try and maximize uh, my ability to replicate mother nature as much as possible and so i'll go through that skinny end as opposed to the other end every day You know, one thing, you can hear my drag screaming every once in a while, and this is, you know, something I do whether I'm fishing by myself or fishing with clients, is I will keep the drag set a little loose. You know, number one, what's the hurry? You know, enjoy the fight of the fish. Um, number two, it does decrease, you know, the number of times, especially if I'm fishing monofilament, that that's gonna break off just from too much stretch on there. Um, and the beauty of these smallmouth is their fight. I had a hockey coach one time say, you know, who would you want in your bunker when things are tough uh, at the end of a game? And all day long, I'd want one of these smallmouth. They will give you every ounce of fight, and they're just so much fun to catch. People get a little caught up in walleyes, and I get it. But if you can sit there and catch these all day long, it's well worth your time. Just a little guy, but you know what? You get kids catching these all day long, they're gonna make many memories, and that's the thing they're gonna remember about fishing, is catching fish. Not sitting there waiting and wondering when the next bite is. Fighting a smallmouth gets them hooked all day long. Got your drop shot here. Um, I like to keep mine attached to a swivel and by no means am I a drop shot expert, but I just like it so that as I'm pulling it through these weeds and it's gonna be twisting and turning a little bit, that swivel's gonna help keep the line from twisting and kind of bungling up because when I get my plastics on there, I want it to be able to sit and again, be as natural looking as I can. This morning, I'm actually gonna experiment with Northland's new Limber Leech. Uh, it's something that just came out and I'm excited to try it. I haven't drop shot with it yet. Limber Leech, they just came out with them. Really looking forward to seeing how it performs. tell you what it's been quite a morning out here on a little small smallmouth lake in Hackensack and this is one of the reasons why I like to chase smallmouth in July. Walleyes get tough um, so I like to diversify and we've caught them a ton of different ways today. We've caught them lindy rigging, we've caught them drop shotting and you know the best thing is 
you know, just being able to get out and experiment with different techniques. This one came on a robo worm. I've caught them on the limber leech, the new ones from uh, Northland. Um, but just a fun morning. And if you want to get off the beaten path, and if you want to uh, enjoy some smallmouth fishing, you know, give us a call at Leisure Outdoor Adventures. Plenty of these lakes around the Walker Hackensack area, and we'd love to help you explore them. Ray Sport and Marine is your London Mercury headquarters. The 2019s are in and they're better than ever. Lund boats powered by Mercury are engineered to be the best with unbeatable performance and unmatched strength. Lund truly provides the ultimate fishing experience. Like the 2019 Pro V Limited loaded with exclusive features and premium styling. The Pro V Limited redefines the term ultimate fishing boat. Ask about how you can build your custom Lund boat too. Experience the Lund difference powered by Mercury at Ray Sport and Marine Grand Rapids in Bemidji. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection. With an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings, Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. This is my seventh summer guiding with Leisure Outdoor Adventures and you know for me it's a privilege to be able to do this day in and day out. My real job is a high school special ed teacher um, and so I feel very fortunate to be able to spend my summers uh, sharing my passion for fishing with clients. Uh, one of the things we pride ourselves on at LOA is preparation. Uh, we want to make sure that when our clients step in the boat there's nothing for them to think about. We've provided everything, we've prepared, we've spent time on the water, we've got quality gear, we've got quality bait, we've got quality tackle, all of that stuff so that when they get into our boat, the only thing they have to concentrate on is hooking fish. Um, you know, I think back to, you know, when I was growing up, my dad and grandpa were not the greatest fishermen, but you know what? They put in the time because they had a curious son, they had a curious grandson uh, that wanted to fish and they answered the bell. We spent many hours uh, floating on Mille Lacs or Serpent Lake or Black Hoof Lake or some of the mine pits in and around the Crosby area. And while we didn't catch a ton of fish, uh, the thing I remember is that my grandpa and my dad were always willing to put in that time. And that's the passion and that's the dedication that I try to provide my clients. Um, I wanna make sure that when they're in my boat, I'm working my tail off and I'm making sure that I'm going to do everything that I can to maximize their time on the water and maximize their time put, whether it's smallmouth fishing, walleye fishing, whatever's biting, they know they're gonna get an honest effort. And I learned that from my dad and my grandpa because that's what it's about. It's about putting in time and it's about sharing your passion for fishing. And I feel really privileged to be able to do that. Um, this has been my guide life and I hope you'd enjoyed the day. Leisure Outdoor Adventures would like to thank all their sponsors for their support in making the guide life happen.